What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Mustang and my suspension and wheels and alignment. So I got the car aligned. Uh, it was a little bit out of spec to my surprise, uh, but it is back in spec now. And I took it to a Ford dealer to get it done. And uh, where did you take your car to get it done? Some people are going to performance shops. I've seen it if people go to just different shops. I don't know if anybody that took it to the Ford dealer, but me so far, uh, but I took it to the Ford dealer because I have so many points on Ford Pass. I, it didn't cost me anything. Uh, so that's why I took it to the Ford dealer. And um, and also a lot of places I took it to said they don't have the specs for the 24 yet. They only go up to the 23. So there are places that could have done it. Uh, but I just decided to go ahead and take it to the Ford dealer so I can use my Ford Pass points uh, and pretty much pay nothing. So the car is aligned now. Um, and again, my setup is... Uh, 20 by nine and a half in the front, 20 by 11 in the rear, 305, 35, 20 on the rear, and 275, 35, 20 on the front, with a 1.5 drop in the front and a 1.3 in the rear. Now, the rear looks like really low, but there is clearance in there. So when I took it on the highway today, uh, I, I hit some bumps, and I felt, a, I heard a little bit of rub, but it was a huge bump, so... Other than that, this does not scrape. Like I can get in and out of my driveway fine. I can even back it in my driveway and back it into my garage and there is no, there's nothing. Uh, it's just no problems whatsoever. So uh, if you're thinking about lowering your car this low, this is a max drop right here. So 1.5 in the front, 1.3 in the rear. Um, so it's gonna be low and these are 20s, but this isn't, uh, you just, you, you, need to, you need to drive it. If I give you the keys to the car, you're gonna say, oh snap, that is pretty good rides like factory you know so um other than that though i'm pretty happy with the car um i was wondering how the alignment was going to go and it went how i thought it was going to go you know a lot of places were like oh we only have the 23 uh and some places were like we can do it but this this and the other so just took it to a ford dealer so um almost at 500 miles no no yeah i'm almost at 500 miles uh, and almost two months of ownership. I'm almost at 500 miles, uh, and it's actually a fun car. Some of you guys have asked, I've already put out a video, a, a video on why I like this better than my C8 Corvette, but you know, there's a lot of reasons, but some people just refuse to believe me, I guess. I don't really care if, you know, uh, I think that's just their loyalty to whatever they're driving. But me, this is just all material stuff and, um, I'm going to enjoy it every day that I get a chance to. So I've been doing a little bit more night videos and stuff like that because I'm busy during the day. And um, I just prefer to come out at night. It's quieter. It's not a lot of engine noise from other cars and trucks going by. And I like the way the car looks at night. It looks really cool at night. So um, yeah, this is my setup, man. So right now, a lot of people are, you know, getting a Whipple, ordering a Whipple. I don't plan on ordering a Whipple. Uh, not at this point, because I actually just really enjoy the car like this. I also don't plan on doing any upgrades to the exhaust. Um, I like I have the dual mode exhaust, the active exhaust. So this car is, you know, labeled as the 486 horsepower. And it was 416 or 418 torque from the factory. So this is the most that they have to offer right now with nothing. Just a straight up exhaust gives you a little bit more, six more horsepower and a little bit more torque. Uh, but um, overall... I am really happy with this car. So uh, almost two months with the car. Yeah, about two months with the car. Almost. I'm not really keeping track of that, but I know I've had it longer than uh, I had it for about 45 days or so. I'm not sure, but the miles are getting up there because I've been taking it to different places and I've been driving a little bit more. So I've got 470 miles or something like that. Uh, and they have been 470 miles of fun. And then also the places I've taken it to are far away from my, <laughs> they're at least an hour away. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the ride. Now the ride quality with the Eibach Sportline kit is really good. Some people are going to say this is too low, but I think it's the people who, who, who have never driven this particular car with the Sportline kit on it. I see a lot of people with the Eibach Pro kit or the Sportline kit. And this is again, the max drop and the, the, the pro kit gives you one in one, I believe. I think it's 1.3 in the front and one in the rear, something like that. It basically gives you a little bit more clearance in the rear. Because uh, I see a lot of people with the same tire setup as me, but they have the pro kit. So it looks like they have a little bit more clearance just in the rear. Like as far as um, like how the car is right there, like it, it, it shows more fender gap. 
I didn't want any fender gap, none whatsoever. I wanted no fender gap, and that was just my plan. So if you're wondering about the uh, Eibach Sportline kit, it is the max drop, and it is a comfortable ride, man. As long as you don't have very skinny tires on it, um, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I think you'll be totally fine with with this drop right here. I drive fast, slow, you know, I just I slow down over speed bumps like anybody else would do as well. So I don't see um, what the big deal is, but I really like how this looks. I just cleaned it up. I got the alignment and then it's, it was dirty. So I just kind of wiped it down, gave it a quick wash. And I was like, I'm going to take it for a spin, you know, make sure everything is good. My steering wheel on my alignment was already really straight, but he said the camera was way off. So it looks like when he did the, uh, the alignment, the front end got a little bit more higher up. But after looking at it, uh, I was in, I, well, I guess I wasn't on a level surface because after looking at it here, it looks almost exactly like it did before I got the alignment. So Nonetheless, um, pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to really enjoy it this summer. I got some new content I'm going to try for you guys. I ordered some new camera stuff, so um, you'll see that coming up pretty soon. Um, it should be here this week, and then I'll take you guys for a ride uh, with that. So with that being said, it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, iBox Sportline kit, cars aligned, sitting nice and low. I don't know if it's going to settle anymore. It's really... <laughs> It's settled in pretty good, so I don't know. But nonetheless, I'm going to take some photos, and I'm going to head out of here. But I want to give you guys an update on the alignment and the wheel setup because people have been asking that, and I've been saying it in almost every video, and it just means they're not watching the videos. Uh, but nonetheless, no problem. I'm a nice guy. I plan on bringing you a lot of content on the car anyway, so here it is. What do you think about shooting video in the evening time like this versus shooting in the daytime? I think shooting at this time of day, the car looks incredible, man. Like, it really shows how nice the color is. And I just think it, it looks so much better to shoot video at this time. Also, what do you think about a different spoiler and a front lip? Somebody said, no front lip. And I'm like, nah, everybody's, everybody's doing the same thing. People fall into this category. Or, like, a car will come out and everybody will do the same thing. <laughs> and I don't like to do that. So... I don't plan on doing a front lip. Uh, it's, it's more aggressive than I will probably want. I just like how the stance is on here. And then I like how the front looks. So nice and subtle. On my C8 Corvette, you remember, I didn't do any kind of front lip. I like the little spoiler on the back. Um, I like how it looks. So, But there's there's a lot you can do with this car than, than the C8. You know, I can easily change the exhaust on here, add another spoiler with ease put a front lip on myself, add side skirts myself. It's just, it could be really simple. So anyways, your man, Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll take some photos and I'm going to go for a cruise and I'm going to head home. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.